What's up, sis? <laughs> so, I'm back. Um, I want to shout out everybody who liked my last video, my story time. It's lit. Um, but I did a poll on my Instagram and I asked if y'all would want to know the tea on this little bob here. And I got so much good feedback. Everybody's like, yes, I need to know. Like, I, I want to, I want to know the tea. So here I am to give y'all the tea. Um, this wig is synthetic. I know. Like. Who wears synthetic wigs, wigs anymore? Me. No, this is my first time ever wearing a synthetic wig. Usually I'm wearing virgin hair, Brazilian, whatever. Um, but this time I was on a budget for one. For two, I would need something really quick. And I want the wig to be pre-made. And so, you know, virgin hair wigs can go from anywhere from $100 to $600. It doesn't matter. So, I... Went to my handy dandy YouTube and I typed in blunt cut cheap wig <laughs> and this popped up and it had a lot of good reviews. So I'm watching review after review. I'm like, okay, it was provided on a lot of different websites like sister wigs. Um, this website called, I think it was like go BB or BB something BB. Then they had it on Amazon. And my mom, she has an Amazon Prime account, so I was like, perfect, like, I'm gonna just overnight this wig and see what I can do with it. So, the wig was $43.47 with the overnight shipping was free with, you know, with Amazon Prime. And came in a bag like this. I keep the wig in the bag, so that's why it's like messed up, but it came. And, oh, it's by Bobby Boss. It's, I didn't say that. So the wig is by Bobby Boss. It's a premium synthetic fiber wig, and the name of it is Yara, and I got it in the color 1B. So the wig did not look like this when I first got it. So it was, maybe if I still have the picture, I'll sh insert the picture of how the wig looked when I first tried it on. So it is a lace front wig. So it's laced all across the front and then the part is like right like this. I did tweeze the part. Um I did yeah, I did tweeze the part and then I also just put some foundation and you'll see that in the clip when I'm applying my wig. Like you'll see the powder realized skin finish in dark deep or deepest dark. I don't know what the name of it is. And I use my L'Oreal you'll see it in the clip um and i just put that on the underside of the wig down the part and a little bit like you know on the front because you can't really see the lace on the sides because the hair is down so that's why i don't even really worry about the lace down there um i cut the lace off tweeze the hairline a little bit i'm really i really don't even know how to do lace wigs really because i just use lace closures so I tweeze it as best I can. I try to cut some baby hairs, but you know, it looks pretty good. Now, I had some trouble with this hair being too thick at the end. So like the ends, they're still really thick if you ask me. So when I was at the homecoming, I was like freaking out because I just didn't want it to look too, like it gets really thick and like the wig is so smooth and sleek and then it gets to the ends and it's like, so bulky i don't know like the most of the weight of the hair is at the ends, and i didn't like that so what i had to do was i had to go in with some thinning shears now i didn't have the thinning shears for hair i had the ones for the eyebrows so so i cut off this much lace um in the front and so i use these thinning shears they're my bad the bell man can't scare the shit out of me so I use these scissors. So thinning shears have like a comb on one side and a scissor on the other side. And the ones that are made for hair are way bigger than this. But <clears throat> so it did take me a long time to thin it out. So what I would do is just cut one, two, three down the hair. Just around, around, around. And that thinned it out. It's still really thick at the end, but that thinned it out a lot. Um, I might even go in and do some more. Um, I do use the got to be method to lay it, like I said, time. Um, I just use this one, um, brush like this, put it, put it on my edges, use a blow dryer, put it on, and to slick, I don't like to use the got to be to slick down the edges because 
even though even though I could like use the got to be and have it and wear the wig for like a week I take it off every night so I just take like a washcloth um I wet it and then I you know I wet the wet the got to be and take it off every night so I don't like to use the got to be on the edges like the baby hairs because that makes them stiff so for the baby hairs I just use the eco styler and this nasty toothbrush please don't judge me um heat setting which is 340 um and it makes it it gets it pretty straight like it doesn't really it just makes the flyaways go down and makes it you know this hair has somebody um now if you really want the tea leave me a comment below on how I washed this hair and made it better than it was before I got it out the pack when I watch when I have been wearing this hair for like a week or two and it got you know matted it's synthetic hair what do you expect so i looked up how to wash synthetic hair and i found this video and sis really she came in the clutch because this hair is better after i washed it than it was when i first got it out the bag so that should tell you something but i will tell you like i'm really feeling this bob it comes in so many different colors i'm thinking about trying to have like a blue teal green purple blonde and then like a four so i would recommend this wig for somebody who's a first time wig wearer who's all uh, scared to spend money on virgin hair who's who's scared to um invest that type of money i know now that i would in i would invest that type of money into a virgin hair wig because but that's it on my wig the pros and the cons pros i'm a bad bitch cons you know the ends get a little bit tangled but all you gotta do is you know revive it wash it you can blow dry it you can straighten it you can curl it i haven't curled it yet but i did see a video on youtube of a girl curling it like this wig is the fucking bomb like you can't tell me nothing <laughs> you can't tell me nothing with this wig like come on look at this cut you see that oh i forgot it sheds it hasn't been shedding a lot lately but when I first got this bitch, she was shutting. And I wasn't fucking with it. I was very upset. But it doesn't shed any more than my natural hair sheds. So it is what it is. Um I want a sleek looking oh and I I keep forgetting. 
I also found out that they have a second version of this wig and it's called the Yara Sleek, which is, I heard it was less dense, not be as dense on the bottom and be as heavy um, at the end. So I'm gonna show y'all how this looks and I'll keep y'all posted if I decide to get the Yara Sleek. Um, but in the meantime, Yara is my bitch. She's she been holding me down. Um, so I gotta go. And today's the day before Thanksgiving. Hopefully this is up by Thanksgiving. If not, whatever. Happy Thanksgiving. Be thankful, be blessed, and keep slaying. Love y'all.